On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring updates to the ProAdvisor program. Now you can access career-spanning training and certification from ProAdvisor Academy so that you can start your career, elevate your expertise, and grow your firm. Here's what to expect. You'll see the update in action, then hear from ProAdvisors Dan Luthi and Carla Caldwell. Hey, ProAdvisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So here's the scoop. We heard that ProAdvisor training and certification was unengaging, hands-off, and hard to apply to real-world scenarios, and that the portal itself was hard to navigate. So here's what we did. We've launched ProAdvisor Academy, which is your new home for complimentary training and certification. In the Academy, you can dive into our reimagined QuickBooks Online certifications, which now offer engaging, hands-on learning that contextualizes how to use the platform in service of your accounting workflows so that you can work efficiently and effectively. You can now explore the newly introduced Intuit Bookkeeping Certification, which is a free 30-hour self-paced program that teaches accounting fundamentals so that you can start and grow in your career with confidence. And you can take the courses at your own time, at your own pace, all while earning CPE credits and ProAdvisor points. And now for the fast facts. ProAdvisor Academy is available to all ProAdvisors as a complimentary benefit of the ProAdvisor program. You can access the Academy by logging into QuickBooks Online Accountant, then clicking ProAdvisor, then Training. This update has been live in the U.S. as of October of 2024. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let me take you for a spin of the Academy. So to log into the Academy, I'll first log into QuickBooks Online Accountant, then navigate to the ProAdvisor tab, and then Training. So here I am. From the Training tab, I'll click Start Learning. And this will take me right into ProAdvisor Academy. Welcome to the Academy. Here I'm on My Hub. My Hub is my personalized view of the Academy where I can pick up where I've left off, whether that's with certification programs or individual courses. There's also a pretty slick little trophy case that shows off all of the badges that I've already earned. But let's head over to the certification tab. The certifications are laid out by foundational certifications, which teach end-to-end -end accounting workflows for practitioners who deliver generalized accounting services. And we have specialty certifications, such as QuickBooks Online Payroll Certification, that are great for accountants who deliver specialized services. Let's head to the foundational certifications. Here we have our QuickBooks Online Certification Level 1, and level two, as well as our Intuit bookkeeping certification. But let's start from the top. The QuickBooks Online Certification Level One is great for new pro advisors who are just learning how to deliver end-to-end -end accounting workflows in QuickBooks Online. The program teaches them that, as well as how to identify light touch advisory moments throughout. The level two certification builds on the level one curriculum and dives even deeper into the more sophisticated and tools within QuickBooks and identifies how to deliver those more robust accounting and advisory services to clients. We've named these programs level one and level two to signal that there's this continuous learning journey for pro advisors to take from entry level all the way through to seasoned, and it sets the stage for us to deliver more certification programs as the platform evolves and as what it means to deliver modern accounting services evolves. You may be more familiar with level two being referred to as advanced. However, we also felt that there was some confusion between the advanced certification and the advanced SKU, given that the advanced certifications goals were much broader than just teaching on that one particular SKU, level two clears up some of that confusion. So let's go ahead and double click into our level one certification. Here you'll see the curriculum follows the flow of data through QuickBooks Online, from sales and customers to expenses and vendors, banking and period end. 
That way you know what happens both upstream and downstream and can troubleshoot effectively. You can take the courses laid out in the order that they're shown here or in the order of your choosing. We've also introduced course level exams. So if you want to assign, say, the banking course to a new hire because you want them to understand how to use bank feeds and then make sure that they test their knowledge, you can do that and have them get certified on their own time. Let me go ahead and click into sales and customers so you can get a look at what the learning looks like. Here we are in the sales and customers course. So let's start with some navigation. The course itself is broken up into different pages, starting with a welcome, and then we get into the setup tasks as it relates to sales and customers, frequent tasks that happen monthly or maybe quarterly, and occasional tasks. And then we wrap with reports and insights so that you can start delivering value added services and having value added conversations with your clients. And then finally, we wrap with next steps. Next steps has an interactive workbook and links out to other resources and materials. The learning itself features lots of different moments of interaction. So let's look at the setup tasks page. Here you can see you can start clicking through different flows within the product, interacting with flip cards, clicking on hotspots, and doing knowledge checks to test your knowledge. So I'll head back now to ProAdvisor Academy. And one thing I'm excited to call out is there's now two different ways to achieve certified status. Way one, is by completing all five of the course level exams. By completing all five, you'll have wrapped the certification program and can say you're a certified pro advisor. Way two is by toggling on this test out option. I've already passed it, but you have three attempts to pass the test out option before a 30 day cool down period kicks in. The test out option is great if you already have the knowledge and wanna sit down and pass the exam in one fell swoop. I'll head back now to the certification tab and scroll down to the Intuit Bookkeeping certification. Again, this is a newly introduced program to the ProAdvisor community that teaches new ProAdvisors the fundamental accounting knowledge they need to deliver a bookkeeping and accounting services to clients. It's free, it's about 30 hours, and the curriculum starts with bookkeeping basics, then goes into tracking assets and sales, then tracking expenses, liabilities, and equity, and finally ends with reconciling accounts and examining financial statements. And you'll see the way to get certified on this program is through toggling on that test out option and taking the test. I'll head now to the Learn tab. The Learn tab is our learning library where you can take courses a la carte. This is in its MVP state. Next up, we plan to release a filter so that way you can drill down by content type, CPE, earning opportunity, and more. On the My History tab, you can see all of the badges that you've earned, both at the certification level and at the course level. You can access your CPE certificates, as well as your badges and certificates, and push them to social media. So that is a wrap on your tour of ProAdvisor Academy. We'll turn now to ProAdvisors Dan Luthi and Carla Caldwell for them to weigh in on how they'll use ProAdvisor Academy to empower their team. Carla, Dan, welcome to this episode of In The Know. I am so excited that you're here to talk about ProAdvisor Academy. Thanks for having me. Yeah, very much so. Super excited to talk about this topic. Let's do it. Okay, Carla, let me start with you. What gets you the most fired up about ProAdvisor Academy and the reimagined training and certifications that live within. The thing I'm most excited about the ProAdvisor Academy is the way that it is interactive and we're able to, in the e-learning, click through things, um, really expand on our knowledge, test out questions and all of those types of things. But I love that there are tips and tricks from people who are using the product embedded in. I just think it has a great look and a feel. It's easy to take in what you need and leave and come right back and pick up where you left off. So I just think the whole experience on this is just so elevated and exciting to go through and the content I really like as well. I definitely agree with you, Carla. I think the content has uh, has definitely been elevated because it's been changed 
to approach education in a very different format. Uh, it's not coming in as a, hey, let's only learn about what QuickBooks does and what QuickBooks is. Um, it really actually ties the accounting roles and responsibilities that are going on with it and the education piece actually to the app, the platform and, and shows it in a way that helps you to understand to make sure that you're moving information through the system correctly. And um, the fact that you also have in live people talking about their experience uh, with the platform and how they use it to have conversations with clients, I think it just elevates the whole experience overall for uh, those people who are going through the certification. I, yeah, I think it goes beyond technical training now. It, it, mm -hmm. It's totally a different experience of just how to use software. It's about how to do your job, mm -hmm. really. And this is the 100%. tool you're using to do that. Oh, absolutely. I, I love the point that you called out that allows you, shows you how to do your job, uh, which is the part that I think is so unique about the way that the levels are set up with it as well, too, is it splits it. So it's not so much a kind of carte blanche experience for everybody. It's more of step stones for people as they're moving through the organization. Yeah. So Dan, let me build on that point. You at Ignite Spot have done a wonderful job of creating a culture of continuous learning, as has Carla at her firm. How do you guide or how do you plan to guide your team through engaging with the different levels of the program? When do you assign it and how do you help them sort of carve out time to really engage with the programs? Yeah, definitely. I Carla mentioned this in her comments earlier, but there's an opportunity to do a little bit of testing out of certain ex sections and things like that, uh, which I think is really cool because as you're uh, onboarding a new employee, you have conversations with them, learning about their education, how long they've been in the application or different things like that. And so it allows you to be able to more customize the experience of education in their first couple of weeks with you. Uh, for someone who maybe it's been a year or so since they've been the platform, or maybe they're relatively relatively really new to starting to learn how to have conversations with clients, um, I would start at a level one because it gives me the opportunity to be able to reference some more things with them. Um, if they're coming in more skilled to where they've been with the, you know, been in the space for a long time and they have very similar experiences, I might give them the opportunity to test out of level one and then move in into level two to learn more about the advanced features with it. So um, it gives you a lot more flexibility, which I think is really great. And that's the part that I think uh, works really well for our team as well, too, is we're not our intent is never just to throw people through a whole course curriculum and hope and pray that they get through it in their first three weeks. Uh, we really want to make sure that they're learning valuable tools that are going to help them in their job as they move forward. Yeah, in our firm, everybody that touches QuickBooks Online has to be level one certified, but then we move on up and skill into level two. And what I really like, though, is that there are times when one client or the group of clients they're working on aren't always in sales and customers as much, but they get through the exam and they've passed it. But then when they get in level two and realize, oh, wait, I might want to go back and review that a little bit. It's super easy to identify setting it up, going through the processes and the reporting because it's all together in one area. So I really feel like this is good reference material for later, whether it's just as you get started into level two or just, hey, I need a refresher on this or I want to go back and understand that a little bit better. Maybe now it makes more sense because I've been in clients and doing the work. Now I want to go back and go, wait a minute, what, what did that mean again? I need to understand that more. So I, I really find that that's going to be super helpful. There's also some little nuggets in there where we can link out to articles and, and try out some things like that, um, little questions. And, and, and again, the, all those tidbits that, that other pro advisors are putting in there, I think is really making it a rich experience. And it's not a passive experience anymore. It is a really interactive, thought provoking uh, learning, which is really where people are these days. And so I think that it really just brings this to such a modern level of learning that I think that's, that's what gets me excited about it. Oh, I, I completely agree with the comment you just made, Carla. And one of the things I wanted to highlight on what you said, which really stood out to me as I was going through the, the course material myself, um, is the fact that there is links out to other you know, content and information that's outside of the training and outside of the certification program. Um, and, and I think the great part about that is, is the intent of it is to give you a nice overview and an understanding of the connection between the platform and what you do, but then also to show that there is other places where you can constantly go get resources and information from to just elevate who you are. And there, it's nice to be able to link them if you are going to become an AR clerk to know where to look back mm -hmm. to and where to reference as you're going through things. 
So Dan, one of the points that you brought up earlier on was about how you customize onboarding for your new hires. And we know that more and more folks are onboarding non-traditional talent that's coming into the accounting profession, maybe for the first time or from a different career path, um, which is why we've introduced the Intuit Bookkeeping Certification Program. So I'd love to hear more about how you and Carla plan to put this program to work for your team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the The part that I'm really excited about the bookkeeping uh, certification is just the fact that it's it's really a nice course start for those people that you're just bringing in that are like as you mentioned that are not very familiar with accounting but have the relationship or communication skill sets or different things like that. You just feel are going to be able to be a really good fit for your organization long term. But you need to teach them on how to to do some of the core functions. This gives you a way to be able to start them with a really solid knowledge base um, that gives them a it's kind of a crash course really into accounting and gives them an understanding of how it's going to work in their daily life or in the things they're doing. Um, the also thing that I really like about it as I, I mean, honestly, I, I talk with my kids about accounting because I'm a nerd and I love that kind of stuff. And um, I making making my kids uh, go through accounting school uh, classes in, in high school and things like that. Um, it gives me hope also too, for them mm -hmm. to be able to have tools to reference back to as they're growing and learning. And uh, surprisingly, both of them are really interested in going down this route. And, and, and a lot of it is, um, I think because accounting is being turned into not being boring in that, mm -hmm. that function. Mm -hmm. And this is a great way to mm -hmm. show that what we do is not just spreadsheets and information that you really have no clue what you're doing right. and T accounts and going into, you know, taxes. It, there's much more involved in what's going on with it. And there's much more of a story that's being told for, for like businesses that you're working with. Yeah, I really like the bookkeeping um, certification as well, because one of the things that we did was we did bring in some stay at home moms and, and started teaching them the basics and they were really good and they picked all of that up. But I would start talking about things and they would just kind of look at me politely and, and be like, what does that mean? And I would be happy to explain it to them. That's what I'd like to do. But having this that they can go to and dig in deeply and then be able to have something at the end that's like, I did this. They just, I, it, just yesterday, I had a team member said, when I learn new things, I have so much more confidence in myself. And so knowing that they have something like this that they can go to and, and learn and show initiative if that's where they want to go and, and really dig into that, it's not necessary, but it's so helpful um, and it's easy. Now I have right there inside of the ProAdvisor Academy, they have the ability to get to that. So I think that's going to be really uh, a fun place for them to explore and to be able to have opportunities for that. And our firm, it's one of our core values is to constantly be learning. And so we actually allocate time throughout their schedule throughout the month, usually toward the end of the month after we finished out the month end. Um, they usually get to have time to go do things like this. And my team is so excited to dive in and learn. So that that is really fun to provide that for them. And Dan, I, I've got two teenagers. I'm going to see if I can get them learning this and I will keep you posted on that. That <laughs> awesome. sounds awesome. Please do, please do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm overjoyed to hear that these programs give your team confidence and give them the skill set that they need to deliver the services that really help your clients succeed in their businesses and that it saves you time because you're not having to one to one teach your team or create curriculum, but you can count on the ProAdvisor program to show up for you in this way. So. Dan and Carla, thank you so much for everything you've done on this episode and to support ProAdvisor and ProAdvisors in the community. We're so grateful. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you so well done. Yes. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In the Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.